What up? Welcome to another episode of Fucker Trout. Um, today, uh, it's the second to last trip for the season. Um, well, for myself anyway. And we're on the Nongi. And today, we are going to uh, be looking at the five best pools for the seat for us this season. Um, I'm going to be going through them. I'm going to well, name what we call the pool. And um, we're going to try to catch a fish in it. So hopefully we can get a fish in every of our top five um but yeah i've got new gloves some dragonfly gloves and they've got pin, you know no fingers here it's pretty cool um and i got a new sims waypoint bag i think it's called um because my bag fell apart my chest fell apart so um yeah so today um this morning i woke up extra early i woke up 5 30 was it five o'clock might have been five o'clock i left and i was like that's it i'm gonna go hang out with the boring lake fisherman and uh for a couple hours and see if i can catch me you know uh, um hashtag proper rainbow so um yeah so i went to go catch me a hashtag proper rainbow and um i showed up and there was no one there and I was like, hey, where's all the old fellas at? And, um, but, no, no one was there. So I went around to the next spot. No one was there. Went to Rotoweedy. And went to the pipe. Not a fisherman in sight. Went to Rua Bay. Not a fisherman in sight. And I'm like, oh shit, maybe my uh, last video had a bit of influence. But, no, it was, a, it was a beautiful clear morning. And apparently it's not, not so great um, fishing when the, when there's no wind and the, the lake's flat apparently it's just horrible fishing so that's all right so i just said oh well that's all right i'll just keep my uh, hashtag amateurs opinion to myself so um yeah uh hopefully i can catch some proper rainbows today if i don't that's all right but we're definitely gonna get a video out for you guys i'm gonna show you our top five pools enjoy the vlog and um yeah let's get into it all right, so pool number five on our list is the, uh, call this the stairs pool game. Sure. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Well. I've only ever looked at that sign closely once. Yeah, well, we're going to call it the stairs pool. It's the pool that you come down the stairs. It's the first pool we see. So this is our, our number five for the season. I've caught quite a few um, good fish out of here. Um, is really on and off it's got a really stuffed up flow but um the fish seem to hold in it and so um so yeah it, it, it does produce usually when we come here we catch get one or two out of it i caught my first fish on a streamer in the nongata in this pool so for that reason that's our number five further out ahead of them yeah Oh, he turned. Yep, yep, beautiful. Yeah, man, he's a nice little bow. That's good job. way to start the day yeah man I just choked it choked it a bit skinny in the tail might have already yeah. spawned I'd say she probably would have looks like it eh yeah and just started colouring back up yeah yep by the looks of it You dog. Damn. So I've just discovered that um, my GoPro, no bueno, no good. Um, you were right. <laughs> um, didn't charge the GoPro, which is awesome. So everything you're going to see is going to be filmed off here. So uh, 
we're just gonna basically our mission today is just to catch one fish as I said in every one of our there's a fish down here I'm gonna catch them but um, yeah one fish in every one of our pools our top five pools um, so yeah as I say this is five fish roadside um, one one day we caught five fish in this pool and it's by, by the roadside pool so there you go five fish roadside um, great pool this season um, a lot of browns hold up in this top area that I um, that yeah you foul hooked them a lot of them and they mess you up but no there's a lot of <laughs> I've got a lot of brown trout out of here some foul hooked some not foul hooked and um, yeah also a lot of rainbows holding this little seam down here and you always seem to just get um, you know everyone gets one each or something so that's why it's in our number four spot come check it out Gabe's hooked up in the five fish pool which is number four on our list he's done the biz I'm gonna see if I can catch one up here but I gotta retire which is the the main part but um yep number five Oh, number four, sorry. Might just zoom out a bit while you need them. Nice! Great work. You old slabby. Out of the five fish. Nice. Nice work, dude. Ooh. Oh, you got that little one in the back. Okay. It's not getting down. Yep. There it is. Nice. Nice. Just beach him. Oh yeah, papa. <laughs> Sweet. Slabber Gambo. It's a land shark. And that's how you do it. <laughs> As I say, five fish. Don't get the best fish, but you get fish. Later, boat. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Alan McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan. That was pretty easy. So, this is our number three pool. We call this the Budweiser pool and the reason we call it is because up there was a case of Budweiser which is six beers they were just sitting there I don't know whose beers they were but we drank them and so this is the Budweiser pool it's a um, it's a it's an awesome little pool you would have seen if you watched my last video if you haven't make sure you do because it's a sick video one of my favorites but um, out of this run here I um, I caught a couple on the woolly bugger and the fish just seem to hold in this on this uh you can see the little where the sand bank goes in they just they seem to hold in there and um yeah we just pull quite a bit of fish out of here and usually they're quite good um but yeah we'll see if we can get get one and um if we do well we should do um we'll get it on tape yeah so this is our number three oh drop them <laughs> Yeah boy, Gabe's on again, in the Budweiser pool. Yeah. Get him in the net! So after I just dropped one, Gabe just comes in and uh, lands his, uh, lands, lands <laughs> his number 11. Ah, uh, uh, good work, dude. Pretty fish, eh? Yeah, that one's gorgeous. It's skinny. Yeah. Uh, but cool that's... sort of bronzing on it. Yeah, cool colours, man. Uh, beautiful. But is that a hashtag proper bogey cape? It's a proper bow. <laughs> Not bad. No, oh, it's cool colours. Stoked. Look at those scales. Mm. See? It's gonna take up the scratch, isn't it? Work, dude. Boom! Oh, 
Budweiser. Budweiser. Number two pool, we have stream pool, or Gabe likes to call it Gabe pool. But yeah, it's our number two pool. It's um, it's fantastic. It's such a such an awesome pool. It's it's one of the first pools that that we hit during the day, and almost always we're getting um getting fish out of this pool. Uh, good quality fish out of the last what is it been, a month? Last month, Gabe? Yeah. Okay. Probably last month. It's been absolutely stunning. So hopefully we can get one out of here. We've got um, got fish in the other pools, so yeah, we'll crack into it and uh, hopefully we can get one. Sorry, I'll start this again. Number two pool. Uh, Gabe's obviously hooked up. This is called, well, as I said before, it's called the Gabe pool slash stream pool. We'll just go look at the stream while Gabe hits this fish. Nah, jokes. All right. get, get that fish. Got it. Out of this pool, uh... Oh, well, that's a beauty fish, mate. Yeah, mate. It's got some beautiful colours on it. Got the old dirty glow bug in the mouth. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, oh, oh. Is that, a, is that an orange glow? It's a... Uh... Uh... <laughs> uh yeah. Nah, they're only eating glow bugs. Yeah. As Kane says, you know. Yeah. Glow bug or no bug? Hashtag glow bug or no bug. Because a look at that fish. Ooh. Beautiful coloured fish, eh? Yeah. Oh, awesome. oh, is it raining? Look at that. <sighs> Beauty, mate. Well done. Beautiful colours, eh? Yeah. Stunning. Alright. See you later, bowl. Later, bowl. Well done. Blam. Nice. So I just nailed one out of the game pool or the stream pool. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice chunky one. There he is. He's got a good back on him. Fat belly. Take the glow bug out and off he goes. Oh. Trying, to, trying to go a bit early. Oh no. Oh no. There he goes. <laughs> Took my glow bug. Okay, for, so for our number one spot, number one pool, never fail. Goes all the way around here. Awesome pool. I love it to death. We've had double hookups. I've hooked what could have been my biggest trout um, at one stage. Well, I think it was like a, a couple months ago was massive when we lost it at the net um, also just every single time the reason it's called net we call it never fail is because usually it never fails like I, I, yeah it, it never fails so basically like this is the main part this pool here along here is the main part I'll um, put pictures up here and over here of, um, fo uh, of fish that we've pulled out and never fail in the last few season uh, in the last season but um yeah this pool was produced I would say between me Gabe and Kane probably over a hundred fish um well yeah no definitely over a hundred fish in the season and um some days we can just stand there and we can catch 30 sometimes 40 fish between us out of this one pool and it's just it's just been so amazing but since the flood I don't know if you guys can see it but this part in here, all along here, has kind of just filled in and um, now the fish don't seem to sit down there as much as they do there. They seem to be parking up in some other spots but um, we'll see if we can catch a fish out and never fail. Hopefully it doesn't fail. Okay, so basically never fail has failed. <laughs> Me and Gabe have fished this and all along here the whole never fail pool for um probably an hour now and um i just haven't seen any fish i've tried my my hardest and it's real weird like the last three weeks have been real piss poor in, the, in this pool ever since they had the big flood and it's carved it all out we just the fish haven't been holding 
but it definitely is my number one spot it still is my number one spot because it's for the whole season it's not just for the last few weeks so number one spot never fail pool thank you guys for watching um i just want to do a big shout out to um christopher took him out uh yesterday on the nongi and he ended up with this fish here um it was an awesome four and a half pound bow and it was um it was his biggest fish and he handled it so well um he'd only been trout fishing a few times and he ended up with uh three or four fish and um it was just a good day on the river so well done mate you did bloody well um so yeah anyway guys that's my top five pools we've got um we had the stairs pool five fish roadside budweiser pool gabe's pool gabe's pool and last never fail that has failed on the day that i didn't need it to fail but anyway yeah sorry that i didn't have my gopro i'm an idiot i should have charged it next weekend is the last weekend um by the time you're watching this it could already be over so the 30th of june is the last weekend for the upper nongata region and then the township gets thrashed during the winter months but next weekend is my last video um for the season and well and this regular um thing that i've been doing hopefully i can get to the tongariro and the taupo rivers um a couple of times but it won't be as regular because yeah season's over so but anyway thanks you guys for watching so much um make sure you you get out to the lakes and try catch a 10 pound and hang out with all the old fellas um and drink your lattes and stuff um no nah, <laughs> i'm just joking look no nah, make sure you head out to the 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 re um the eastern region and um get into the the lake fishing that's it's on um on offer here it's probably one of a kind of fish and um, one of kind one of a kind fish that you can catch in in those um lakes beautiful beautiful um proper bows yeah you know i'm talking to when i say proper bows um you know not not these little scabby glow bug eating nongata bows now nah. now you want them them proper lake bows apparently but um anyway thank you all for watching Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment um, what you're up to for the last day and um, what your total was for the season, if you know. Or just give a rough estimate. Be awesome to see see your guys' uh, totals. Um, I'll probably divide that by two because fishermen lie. <laughs> but um, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week for the last episode of Fuck a Trout for the 17-18 season. See ya. Can't say